there fellow wackadoos. Hello again and uh, welcome back to Dr. Doodle's Two Basic Asylum. Well I know I haven't been around since yesterday month but uh, well we're crawling up on the 4th of June damn line now so I want to wish all my viewers here in the disjointed states of America a happy Codependence Day. <laughs> Whether that's funny, I guess that codepends on your sense of humor. Ha 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 ha! Anyway, so like what are we doing here? Uh, what are we doing? Oh, right, yeah, we're here at uh, episode QBA 26. Yep, number 26. Uh, drop it like it's QBASIC! Well, that's hot. So, let's take a look here, over here. Over, let's, let's take a look here. Here we go! All right, well, so here we have, we've got uh, QBA 26 up, uh, subtitled Cradle to Grave. Ooh, Cradle to Grave. Well, why are we calling that one? Let's just take a look. We'll run this pig and you'll see. Look at there. Well, so we, here we got, uh, let's see, this is Danny Boy here. Got my pal Danny Boy. There's uh, there's there's Poindexter, there's Fast Eddie, and poor old Bobo over here. But, uh, well, yeah, so the, what's the point here? Well, you got your grave. Your cradle over here, and there's your grave. See, so cradle to grave, where you're born. And let's see, watch, he's, okay, he's dead. So he goes from the cradle around to the grave. The whole idea is you drag these suckers where you want to, and you drop them where you want, hence drop it like it's Q-Basic. Well, all right, so I'll play on words. But anyway, here's the deal. We got our four fellers here, and uh, they're just, just dudes hanging out. Like I said, this is a good old Danny boy. Well, he's hanging out one day, and, uh, well, unfortunately, he's hit by the bus, so grave, boom. But, but wait a minute, he's born again here. He come back in the, in the playground here. Next, we got Poindexter. Well, he was at the library one day, and a, a bookcase fell over him, got 10,000 paper cards, and pfft, now he's dead. But he's all right back here at the cradle. Bring him around here. We got Fast Eddie here with his uh, gold rim shades in his Hollywood smile, thinking he's all that. Well, one day he was just oh, getting on my nerves, so wrestling around, and uh, he throws a swing at me at Dodge. He falls out the window. Pfft, dead. He's gone now. But wait, no problem. He's back in the cradle, so we bring him back around here. And uh, poor old Bobo. Now, Bobo... This poor old fellow, he's been dropped on his head once too many times. Not twice, once. But anyway, here he is, and uh, he's walking along down the manhole. Down he goes, he's gone, and then back to the critter. So here it is, we're just dragging these turkeys around the screen. You know, what? what's the point of this? Well, I guess the idea is just to show that you can drag these around. Now, what would, uh, imagine these were not uh, little fellers, but maybe they were, oh, say, checkers. And we had a checkerboard, you can drag him there, drag him there, jump your own man, what have you. Or uh, maybe they're, it, it, think of like a file, uh, file manager type program. We, we don't like this file no more, it's gone, delete. Or Oh, wait a minute, a new file right here. Boop, there we go. The idea is just to have these four objects or however many objects you want to program on the screen. And if you're within a certain uh, distance of, like, say, Fast Eddie here, you click the mouse, you drag them around. There you go. And uh, that's it. So here we hit the quick quit button. We're done. All right, that's about it. Again, uh, it's, this point is, is really just pointless. It's just a, a demonstration, really. But if for a, uh, a, a checkers game or a, a file manager sort of thing, could be handy. The whole thing is about drag and drop, which you do all the time with Windows, but it's not very common here in, in DOS. So let's take a look at our codes, how this works. And again, uh, QBA26.base. Cradle to Grave by Dr. Doodle and as always, copy left 2024. Has now def int A through Z, so all our variables are integer by default, just to speed things up a bit. Declare the sub mouse func. We've seen that many times. That's what allows us to use the mouse. Uh, first, we initialize a program. We dimension all our arrays. Uh, there's the cradle and the grave. Of course, the cradle and the grave. Uh, the blank that just blanks uh, when you get rid of a, a a character, just blank them out. And here's the, the rays for Danny Boy, Poindexter, Fast Eddie, and Bobo. Uh, H minimum, H max, V minimum, V max. These are minimums and maxims, as as the names imply. Uh, Danny Boy live, Poindexter live. See, these are all set to one, so all four of them are live as we start. Now we go sub draw screen, and I give you a nickel if you can't guess what draw screen means does it just draws the screen look at here so we go to draw screen here and we got screen 13 sets it to screen mode uh, graphics mode excuse me that's uh 320 by 200 pixels and uh, 256 colors which of course we're using just using four of them here but we set our line this the, the the gray background screen line excuse me and then the circle the paint here we're drawing the cradle uh draw the grave and 
Oh, this is interesting. I got a loop here to just random colors, different shades of green and brown for the grass underneath the tombstone. Uh, now we draw the blank right there. Here we're drawing sprite number one, Danny Boy. And these are all basically the same thing, different color, a couple little tweaks here and there. Uh, Poindexter, Fast Eddie, and Bobo. So we draw them all. We put the, the cradle up in the top left corner, gray at the bottom right. And now we just take some whatever random numbers and put point Danny Boy Poindexter put them all on screen somewhere uh, just to start out with now uh, line this is the draw the oh the quit button and print quit so that's pretty much does our screen and puts our guys up on the screen there next we go to what's up here uh, da, 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 da. yeah go some draw screen now okay here's our main program we do, and these are, this is interesting here. Well, we'll re-enable these lines here, and you'll see what this does. And basically, they're just indicators. So we'll run this here. All right, we've re-enabled these lines, and you see this is the location of the, of where I click on screen here. And the, all these ones here indicate the four fellas. They're all alive, so they're all one. Let's take Danny Boy. Bye-bye, Danny. Now he's zero, because he's dead. Let's take a Bobo. Bye-bye, Bobo. See you later. Bobo's dead now, but we'll bring him back. There's Bobo. How about Fast Eddie? Uh, Fast Eddie, you're done there. Now we bring, yep, yeah, we bring uh, Danny Boy back. Bring Fast Eddie. So basically, quit. So these lines just basically print stats up on the screen, like where you're clicking, who's alive and dead. And once the program's running, you really don't need this information. It's, it's just basically to kind of uh, debug the program while you're writing it and say, hey, why is it not uh, tracking if he's alive or dead, whatever. This will show you the the status of their whether they're alive or dead, that sort of thing. It's just a helpful technique. But yeah, once you get it up and running, you can delete these lines out of here. Now we go, if B is greater than zero, in other words, if we press one of the mouse keys, then we hide the mouse and do mouse three that checks where it is and what buttons pressed now here's where the nitty gets gritty if abs h minus old h1 is less than 10 and abs v minus old v1 is less than 10 then go sub danny boy what the flip is this well, let's take a look at this one thing, step at a time. We got ABS, absolute. What that is, that, that disregards the sign of a number. So, for example, if you're at uh, 10, 10, if you're at 10, you subtract 5, what do you get? You get 5. But if you got 5 and you subtract 10, now you're at negative 5. Well, we all know there can't be a negative distance because even if you go past each other, the distance gets bigger. So, ABS is absolute. In other words, whether your answer is a 5 or a negative 5, a 72 or a negative 72, it just gives you a positive answer. And if the difference between uh, old H1, that's Danny Boy's current horizontal position, is, and H, if the mouse, the horizontal of the mouse and Danny Boy is less than 10, and the vertical of the mouse, well, yeah, absolute V minus old V1, the vertical is less than 10. So if you're less than 10 horizontally, less than 10 vertically, well, then you're over top of Danny Boy. If you click click the mouse, and that means you, you go to the Danny Boy uh, Go Sub subroutine. And let's take a look at that. Where are you, Danny Boy? Danny Boy, yep, here we go. All right, so we clicked on Danny Boy. Here's his subroutine here. We do mouse three, and notice we don't have to bother turning the mouse cursor off. It's already off. But we go to check where the mouse is, go sub validate. Now, validate's interesting. Where did I see that here? Uh, yeah, validate. All that does is it tests every, the H new, V new, old H1, old V1, old V2. If it's less than H min or me, it compares basically with the current statistics, current locations. If they're less than min or greater than max, then if it's less than min, it's set to H min. If, if V new is less than V min, then V new equals V min. Basically, if it's less than the minimum, it's set to the minimum. If it's more than the maximum, it's set to the maximum. That's all it does. It just makes sure that none of these coordinates are out of bounds. So, back to Danny. We do, we loop, okay, until B equals zero. And we're just, we, mouse three, that checks where the mouse is, goes to validate. Now we put old H1 minus 12, old, age, old V1 minus 12, blank P set. In other words, we want to move him, so first we get rid of him where his current position is. Now, if Danny Boy is 1, then put new H minus 12, new V minus 12 Danny Boy P set. If Poindexter equals 1, then in other words, since we've clicked on Danny Boy, first thing we do, we put B blank P set over top of Danny Boy to get rid of him. Now, we decide 
who's still alive and who do we have to re redraw? In other words, if Danny Boy's alive, then put him there. If De Point Dexter's alive, put him there. If Fast Daddy's alive, put him there. And if Bobo is alive, put him there. Uh, old H1 equals H. Old V1 equals V. Loop until B equals zero. So we just keep doing this. We keep putting Danny Boy wherever he is. We blank him out, and then we find his new location, new H, new V, and put him in the per uh, correct, appropriate location. Then, if any of the rest are alive, then we put them where they belong. Now, if notice, new a H new minus 12, V new minus 12. Why is that? Well, here's the mouse cursor. And all the image, Cubasic cares about the image is the top left corner. Well, you want the mouse to be pretty much in the center of the, the image so that you have an idea when you put him, where is he going to go? Like, if you want to put him here, you won't see him off screen. You want him here, but right there. So we subtract 12 to move the, the mouse cursor toward the center of the image and subtract 12 again to move it toward the center. This way, when you move him, the image is always right centered on the mouse cursor, put it that way. And the same with the rest of them. Now, if old H1 minus 12 is greater than 288, that means Danny Boy's over here to the right here, and old, a, old V1 minus 12 is, is greater than 150, then he's down the bottom. In other words, he's over the grave. So Danny Boy equals zero. Danny Boy live equals zero. He's now dead. Put that location grave and P-set. So it's putting the grave over top of him to erase him. I hope that makes sense. Basically here, we're just check, uh, validating the, the current so coordinates and everything else. Then we put Danny Boy where he needs to be. If any of the rest are alive, they put them where they need to be. Loop until B. Now, if Danny Boy happens to be on the bottom right over the grave, well then, Danny Boy live equals zero. He's no longer alive. He's now dead. So we put the gra grave over top of him and then return. And Poindexter, basically same idea. We just uh, do loop until B equals zero. So while you're holding the button, we go sub-validate to check the coordinates. And put uh, old H2 instead of H1. H2 instead of V1 is V2 blank P set. So now we're putting that blank over Poindexter, the yellow one, instead of the red one. And if Danny Boy is alive, we put him. If Poindexter's alive, put him. And if Fast Danny Bobo, we put them in their current their respective locations. And we update old H2, old V2, and now we loop until the you release the key. Now we test old V old H2 and old V2. If the if Poindexter, the yellow one, is down the bottom right, well now he's dead. So we put Poindexter live equals zero. He's now dead. We put in this location the grave, overwrite him with the grave so he goes bye bye and then we return. Same idea with Fast Steady, same idea with Bobo. And so this is a lot of speak really just to say that what we do when we click the mouse, we check where is the mouse. Is it less than 10 pixels horizontally uh, or less than 10 pixels vertically from this character? Well if that's the case, then you now move this character wherever it is. So it's basically a drag and drop. It, like, like I say, you can drag him to the, the, the grave or drag him out of the crib. And here we go, newborn. If Danny Boy live equals zero, that means he was dead. So we put him back in the crib. Same with Poindexter, same with Fast Daddy and Bobo. Now we do mouse three loop until B equals zero. Do mouse three loop until B equals one. Basically, this will we make sure we're not double clicking. We just click once, release. Now it's ready to do what we need to do. We hide the mouse. We check where the mouse is. Collect. Select case H. Now, case 1 to 25, that's the, the left-hand side. And 26 to 50 is the right-hand side. And the V is a 1 to 23 is the top left. And case 24 to 50 be the bottom left. Then the idea is we're checking where are we clicking in the, in the cradle. If we click the top left, then Danny Boy becomes 1. Your Danny Boy Live becomes one, and we put him somewhere on screen. And if, it's, in other words, what we're doing is we're checking who are we clicking on in the cradle. And if they're they're in there, then we set them back to life and drop them somewhere on screen. That's all newborn does. And then quit. <laughs> no big surprise. Quit just turns off the mouse, clears the screen, and system. So, I'm sure that was confusing as hell because I confused myself. But again, we'll go through this quick and once more and just 
run let's see here now as you notice we are moving the mouse cursor and if the mouse happens to be less than 10 pixels from this center point here horizontally and less vertically than 10 pixels vertically well then we're hovering over top of, of Danny boy so if we now click the mouse we move him around drag him wherever if we drop him down here on the grave boop he's gone but he ends up back here in the cradle. And just like likewise, well, let's take uh, a Fast Daddy. He's a prick. I don't like him any. So he's gone. Bye-bye. Now he's in there, too. And we'll put Bobo in. And sorry, Poindexter, but you too, pal. Gone. Now we just, we're just we they're all in the crib. You don't actually see the crib because they're over uh, they're overriding it. But we get to decide, let's let's grab Poindexter. He's a good fella. Put him back where he belongs. And Bobo, he never hurt anybody. Hi, Bobo. Good old Danny boy, and uh, geez, dude, I think I might want to leave Fast Eddie because he just irritates me with his attitude. But now we'll drag him out there. Boom, there we go. There's the great uh, cradle to the grave. There you have it. And again, we're, when we click the mouse button, we check where is the mouse button. If it happens to be within 10 pixels horizontally, vertically, of any one of these characters, well, that means we're clicking on one of them, and then we up oh, this guy here. We got Poindexter, so let's move him around wherever he is. We make him his current location is wherever the mouse happens to be, and we drop. There you go. So again, if these guys were checkers, or maybe they're file names, you could you could jump doop, jump your own man. And you're gone, pal. Bye. Uh, and it, it, maybe they're file names, and uh, this is a, a wastebasket trash can. Get rid of this file. Don't need any more. Gone. All right, we need a new file. Let's grab a new file here, put it there, rename it, whatever. So there you have it. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure it, it was as confusing to you as it is, is for me, but that's how it works. And just uh, download the code and go over it a few times, and um, if, hopefully you'll figure this out and uh, you can find some use for this. That's going to quit this program now. That's all I got. So now it's time for superiors, and we'll uh, we'll check out. Uh, oh, man, you got to check this one out. If you're a failed musician like me, you're gonna love it. It's uh, shut up and play guitar, and they're basically guitar tutorials. Hang on, well you'll see. Hang on, just a second. Superiors. Yeah, rock and roll. Yeah, that's it. Get it, brother. I can do that. Oh, my soda. All right, well, so yeah, I just heard a reeling in the ears, good old Steve the Dan, and now uh, let's just take a look here. To, oh, this page. <laughs> I'm telling you, this page. Uh, here, uh, let's go here. Yeah, so I'm telling you, this page, shut up and play, guitar tutorials, pretty much all you need to say. It's, this man, wow, he's got over 300, look at 361 videos, he's got all oh, the greatest tunes, that, oh, man, you're, you just heard uh, Steely Dan, and what do we got here, Angie, Nothing Else Matters, Fleetwood Mac, everything from heavy metal to hard rock to, oh, classical rock, and just great stuff here. The man, let's see, what's one of my favorites here, oh, oh here's all acoustic songs, that's cool, uh, but, well, let's just take a look at what we got here, because I haven't watched a lot of these here, but, um, do, 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 do what's coming up here, all right, we got some Gordon Lightfoot here, classic tune. Look at here, 50 Ways Lever Lover, How to Play Lion Eyes by the Eagles. Who doesn't love the Eagles? Oh, and Led Zeppelin, Brian Yard Stomp, uh, Hotel California. Now, oh, look at here, Hitch a Ride by Boston, another classic. Gotta love that one. There's the acoustic parts of it, uh, the solos and everything else. Wow, well, Fleetwood Mac, hey, <laughs> Stairway to Heaven, come on, it just doesn't get any better. Peace of mind by Boston. This man, like I say, over 300 videos he has, and in depth. This one's uh, 18 minutes, but look at this one's here, almost half an hour of every little lick and, and, and fill in there. <sighs> If you if you want to if you're a failed musician like me you would like to learn how to play some guitar just for your own entertainment or heck even with a band whatever you got to check out check out shut up and play guitar vid, uh, tutorials this man oh I, I wish i knew it was him by name so i could shout him out but wow such incredible stuff he's got here no oh no matter what no matter what you want classic love that stuff 
Ugh, if you're a fella of my era, or a lady of my era, you into this sort of thing, uh, Peter Gabriel, Salisbury Hill. I learned that, that one, in fact, from him. And, wow, this Tin Man. Ooh, God never did get nothing to the Tin Man. It's all right here. Over 300 videos, you have to check out this page. I'm telling you what, you will be ugh, educated, entertained, edutained maybe, but uh, you will thank me and yourself for coming by here. Hit, uh, shut up and play. Where, let's get back to the main thing here. Yep, shut up and play guitar tutorials. Yeah, All you could want to know right there. You gotta check out this page. You will love it and okay, back to the video. Hang on. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, well, I guess that ought to do it. Uh, we've seen our code and uh, how that ought to be useful in the game. Uh, maybe something like a checkers or, or a well, any number of things, really. Uh, file madness, you know, you drag it, drop it, trash your file, whatever. Uh, we took a look at Shut Up and Play. So uh, all failed musicians like myself out there can have fun. Hey, even if you don't want to learn, just, just to see how it's done, it's, it's amazing to watch that file. If I had as much talent as he has in his tiny little pinky. Anyway, so hope you had a good time, enjoyed the video. Listen, I won't bore you anymore. Just get out there and uh, have fun doing whatever it is that you do. And if some of it is programming, well, then, hey, there you go. Um, all right, I guess that's about all I have for you now. So, hasta la pizza, baby.